In Blackguards 2, you take on the role of Cassia of Tenus. As Cassia Corapia, with her face hidden behind a spider mask, she is on a quest to conquer the city of Mengbilla and its lands. But you are the one to decide how merciful or cruel she will be, both to her enemies as well as her followers. But who is this Cassia, and what drives her to start this war? She was born a noble daughter from a good family. In Mengbilla, she was hailed as the most beautiful woman of the city-state kind and friendly to everyone. This made her the perfect trophy for slave trader and arena master Marwan, who married her as a symbol of his growing status. But he cast her out. She disappeared for years while he won the loyalty of her friends and finally seized the throne of Mengbilla. Now she has returned, but she is so horribly disfigured that she hides her face behind a mask. Her kind nature has also been warped, and she is driven by a ruthless lust for power and a will to rule. In those lost years she spent wandering a seemingly endless labyrinth, locked away with criminals, undead and deadly spiders, she probably lost her mind. But she also found something that gave her a new drive. It's called The Good Ruler, by someone called Dexter Nemrod. Sounds boring. Better than the stupid chit-chat of a mutt. Yeah. A treatise on sovereignty by Dexter Nemrod. Nemrod was both famous and infamous as leader of the secret information agency of the Midden Realm and almost omniscient advisor to its emperors. His treatise on the art of ruling accompanied Cassia on her long imprisonment and his harsh views on politics guide her on her quest for power. As changed and maybe mad as she may be, she still manages to gather followers around her. She wants the gladiators by her side who bat the unbeatable nine hordes in Marwan's arena. They are the only ones she knows who ever stood up to Marwan and won. To her, they are a symbol of her own fight, and so she sets out to find them and to persuade, cajole or bribe them into aiding her. That witch wants my gold. Well, to be fair, she wants her gold. She somehow found out, but never mind. With help from a few loyal servants from her former life as a noble lady of Mengbilla, she claims control over a legion of feared mercenaries. The ruthless leader even reveres him as chosen of his god. She commands spies, and her small army destabilizes Marwan's throne, always on the move between battles. The fact that her campaign to overthrow her husband will turn friends into enemies will not stop her. That many think that she has lost her mind cannot deter her. That her strength and her troops are not enough to take on a whole emirate and its ruler will not make her stop. Cassia has the potential to turn into a great warrior, or to make her mark on the battlefield in a different way. How she evolves, after starting out as an outcast without weapons but with a strong will, lies completely in your hands. Cassia also has both the opportunity to take bloody revenge on everyone who ever may have slighted her, or to forgive them. She can rile up her followers to take up arms against each other or try to be a friend to them. Whether her quest for revenge will turn her into a monster or a saint is your decision. But how much did Cassia change? What are the connections between her, Marwan and her mute sister? Why do the mercenaries revere her? You will have to find the answers to these questions by yourself in her campaign on Blackguards 2. <laughs>